This video demonstrates two ways to read the column headers of an Excel document. First, we will look at OpenPy Excel, and second, we'll look at Pandas. Here is our testing document, wherein you can see the headers we will be reviewing. A small list of employees in a fake business. We have the following columns. ID, first name, last name, employee type, and the location of the store. I start this exercise by first bringing in the two modules of OpenPy Excel and Pandas we will be working with, Load Workbook and Read Excel. Starting with Load Workbook, let me bring over this code to read in the Excel file. Here I am bringing in the Excel workbook into memory as WB and selecting the sheet as WS. One way that you can access an entire row of a workbook object is to use square bracket notation and pass the number of the row you are interested in. Let's see what happens when we apply square bracket notation to WS and look at row 1. In the output, we can see all the cells of row 1. We correctly see that there are five outputs for the five columns of data that we have. We can also see that this is a tuple of individual cell objects. I will save this collection into a variable called list of cell objects. Each cell object has a value attribute. This value attribute returns the value we see when we have the workbook open. Let me bring over some list comprehension I wrote to obtain the values from the cell objects and place them in a list. Here we see that I am iterating through the list of cell objects and extracting just the value from each cell in the list. Let's see what we are returned with. The output is the list of headers in the document. Now that was just the first way that I wanted to review how to do this. Let's now move on to pandas. I load into memory as a data frame called df the sheet named sheet1 from our test document. We can easily access the column headers with the data frames dot columns attribute. Storing these in a list is also very easy to do. You just use the toList function right on the columns attribute. And with this output, we can see that we obtained the exact same list of column headers as displayed in the OpenPyXL method. So as you can see, both ways are quite easy to implement and require very minimal amounts of written code. Thank you as always for stopping by and watching this video. Please let me know in the comments if this was helpful and do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help other people find these videos and resources. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can know when the next video drops.